Ladies and gents, welcome to the second day of the 2024 FBT Cape Town. Due to a lack of wind in the original competition area in Cape Town, we've decided on a strike mission north to Paternoster. Perfect for freestyle. Like medium sized wave, looks epic. A well-known wave riding spot that actually has good potential for freestyle wave conditions and that's what we have today. We have ramps coming in and we have forecasted wind this afternoon. <music> Hoping to defend their positions from the single elimination, we have Jakob Testa in the guys and Lisa Kloster in the girls. We are uh, here in Paternoster. The, the level uh, has grown uh, a lot as, as we saw during the single elimination. It's not going to be easy. I'm very excited um, to finally see uh, sail in the waves here. I think there are some fun battles coming up. So who will be coming up to challenge them? With the winds being lighter than expected, but a building swell, the riders actually came up with quite a novelty heat strategy. Pretty much, you just wait for a wave, like you're wave sailing. And we catch the, the biggest wave of the set. It's just stepping switch, get planing down the line, and then it's basically like doing the move in towing, because you have no wind. Try to send a big move as we can in the wave. And the hardest bit's the landing, because you land, no wind, and then a wall of white water comes and hits you, so knackered, <laughs> a lot of pumping. First one to maximize on this new down the line freestyle was Jamie Howard. Biggest comeback in the double and some great moves on the way out. He was only stopped by Sam and Steve. And Steve managed to stop this momentum by adopting a similar strategy. And thanks to that, he got to challenge Leonard Neubau for third place. Steve put down a good display, but Neubauer stopped the Frenchman and found himself going on into the final. That's well, good. Uh, I think I was quite lucky with the wind. Managed to do some yeah, fun moves. In the women's, Lisa Kloster, the German, was an absolute dominant force. In the women's double, she defended her first place from the single, and so with that, she wins her first international event. Finally, some girls came through. <laughs> uh, yeah, very good. I can't complain. <laughs> Finding a way to second place, Heidi Jabari joins Lisa on the podium in her debut event. Once again, as the sun sets over the Atlantic Ocean, the final of the Freestyle Pro Tour event here in Cape Town commenced. Unfortunately, it was a step too far in the deteriorating conditions. Despite two attempts to run the finals, the judges had to call it off in the fading light. And so the Italian Jacobo Testa takes the first win of the season. I'm really happy. It's 
a great start and uh, I will try to push. I just received uh, my new board. So I know that I have to work hard if I want to keep going like this. This Proving Grounds event has shown the potential of Cape Town and a slight novelty factor. With a great lineup for the rest of the season, we're excited to get stuck in. We'll see you there.